what length of tarpaulin 3 meter wide will be required to make conical tent of height 8 meter and base radius 6 meter. Assume that extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and wastage in cutting approximately 20 centimeter. In this question, we are given dimensions of a conical tent. We are also given a tarpaulin cloth of some unknown length and 3 meter breadth. We are informed that this tarpaulin cloth is used in making this tent. We are also given that some tarpaulin cloth, some length of this tarpaulin cloth is used as extra. So we are supposed to calculate the total length of this tarpaulin cloth used in making this tent. Let us consider the diagram. In this diagram, this rectangle represents the tarpaulin cloth used. The length of this cloth is unknown. Let us assume that it is L. The letter capital L stands for length of this tarpaulin cloth. The breadth of this cloth is 3 meter. It is given to us. It is used in making this conical tent. So we will calculate the curved surface area of this cone. Dimension of this conical tent is as height is 8 meter and radius of the base is 6 meter. In this question, some students are confused. They ask me why we don't calculate the total surface area of this conical tent. Why we calculate only curved surface area? I just advise them that tarpaulin cloth is used in making the only curved path, you can say only round part of this cone. The base of the tent is used, is made by some carpets like material. So we will calculate only curved surface area because only round part, only curved part of part of this cone is made by this tarpaulin cloth. So we can say that area of this cloth is equal to curved surface area of this cone. In order to find the curved surface area of this cone, we will have to calculate slant height of this cone. Let us assume the letter small l represents slant height of this cone. According to the formula, slant height of the cone is square root of r square plus h square where r stands for radius of the base of this cone and h stands for height of this cone. After substituting the values we will get slant height l is equal to 6 square plus 8 square under root and finally we will get 64 plus 36 that is square root of 100 and you can say that slant height of this cone is 10 meter now in order to calculate the curved surface area we can use the formula curved surface area of this cone is pi r l so curved surface area of this cone is pi it is 3.14 according to the question. We are instructed to take pi as 3.14 and radius is 6 and slant height is 10. Okay. So we have already discussed that area of this cloth, tarpaulin cloth is equal to the curved surface area of this cone. So area of this cloth, it is just like a rectangle. So area of the rectangle is length into breadth. So area of this cloth is
is equal to length into breadth so we can say that area of this tarpaulin cloth is equal to curved surface area of this cone so we can calculate it as l is equal to 3.146 into 10 divided by 3 so length of this tarpaulin cloth is 3.14 into 2 into 10 after calculation you will get 62.8 meter but it is not enough we are also given that 20 centimeter of the length of this cloth will be used as extra it is required for stitching margins and vestige in cutting so we will have to add 20 centimeter in this length so the extra length is 20 centimeter we can write it as 20 divided by 100 meter that is 0 0.20 or you can say point 0 0.2 meter so the total length will be 62.8 plus 0 0.2 meter finally the total length of the tarpaulin cloth is 63 meter